so in this video we will see how you can implement a method so you can dismiss the keyboard so before going into the solution let me show the problem so what is the problem that we are trying to solve here just create a react native project and open it in visual studio code and run the output on either android simulator or ios simulator i have already opened the ios simulator here and run the application by npm start so to first understand the problem let me first uh, create a scenario in which you can uh, uh, find this problem so let me just create a text input It's a self-closing element. Let me just save it. We are not saying anything here. We need to apply some styling. Get say input. Background color. Let's say pink. Padding. 20 margin top 20 let me just apply styling here now you can see we have a uh, text input here let me just write it a placeholder enter your name so when I click on the text box to enter something let's say I enter my name now if I want to dismiss this keyboard because uh, I do not require now so there is no way that we can dismiss this keyboard we have to click on the return but this is not we want usually when we press return it means that we are ready to submit the details so we do not want to do it that here so usually uh, when you use apps in real lives you saw that when we uh, in this type of scenario there will be a method in which when user press somewhere else touches somewhere else on the phone screen the keyboard will dismiss but it's not the case in here so we need to implement the method manually so whenever user touch or press anywhere on the screen the keyboard will dismiss so for that we need to use a touchable and we will not be using touchable opacity because we do not want any feedback so this time we will be using touchable without feedback so you can import touchable without feedback here and let me just repeat this whole view around the touchable without feedback because our entire application is between this view this entire screen is under this view let me just save it we can provide on press event here let me just first log then keyboard is dismissed so 
if I press here keyboard is dismissed so now if I press here as you can see I am pressing this screen multiple times we can see the log as you can see number is increasing here so now to dismiss the keyboard we need to import one more element which is called keyboard and just write keyboard dot dismiss let me just save it and now if I press let me just write something now if I want to dismiss this keyboard and I press here as you can see the keyboard will be dismissed this is what we want again let me press here as you can see it works perfectly fine so this is how you can uh, dismiss the keyboard so in real life applications this is very basic basic things to do because there will be some method that you want uh, that you need to implement so that user can get rid of the keyboard user will not have the escape button at that time because they are using the application on their smartphones so thanks for watching it